What is going on everyone? This is your daily dose of mental health with Adam. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing my, my at least five ways to have a better and more successful and not even successful life, but a, fulfill, a life of fulfillment, a life you can look back on and say, wow, I really push forward on. So what this video will be covering is the five steps to live a fruitful, a fruitful and successful life. Let's jump right on into it right now. Please like and subscribe. So also, sometimes I know I do a lot of random videos, but a lot of times, a lot of these videos are just experiences that I'm going through at the time and experiences that I see in my everyday career as a psychiatric RN. So that is that is kind of what I base my videos off of. I will be doing a video, another murder mystery uh, psych videos um, coming up. But sometimes when I have a spur of the moment uh, thought that I think would be really good to just jot down and do a video on, I just do it. So that's what kind of part of this is. So I'll be applying this to how I'm running 365 days, um, at least 3.1 miles, which you can check out my playlist. It's just YouTube shorts. I do a day one through I'm going to do through 365 and I'm on almost like day 50 already of me just running every day. And I'm going to get after I get done uh, 365. No idea what I'll do next, but that's one reason why I'm doing this. It's because anyone struggling with something out there, I feel like these five steps can be applied to you in many in really not even many, but any situation you are in short term or long term. So let's jump right on into these five steps. All right. So number one, the first step for the life, the life you want to live or how to do life, or if you're going through a crisis or any stressful situation, the five things I have seen to be the most valuable, and this is ranked from one to five, one being the most important to five being very important, but not the top priority. So number one, putting your mental health first. Now you might ask why, why that? Because it truthfully is the number one thing that matters because without your own mental health and if you're not checking in with your mental health and what I mean by that is really asking yourself how you're feeling about life. How are you how are you coping with situations and relationships? How do you react to them when you get stressed out? Do you yell? Do you scream? You know, it's a variety of things like that and just checking in with your own mental health or if you want to, or even asking someone how they're doing. And I know it's kind of an awkward question, but just how are you doing? How are you doing emotionally? Or for yourself, just really analyze how you react and what your triggers are and what stresses you out. That very important. So number one, number one is putting your mental health first, in my opinion. Number two, treat others how you would want to be treated. Now, treat others as you would want to be treated is obviously, you know, we most of us were probably taught this at a very young age, the golden rule. And I believe that this still applies today and will always apply in any situation because if you have that perspective, let's say you had a really bad day yesterday and you're holding a grudge against something. And then the, and then the following day you go out in public and you're checking out at a grocery store you might not realize it, but you could be more irritable and you could randomly lash out at somebody or even or even just when you're going when you're going out or even around family having holding holding those grudges and those negative emotions in are only going to hurt you and more and others, but more importantly you. So, if you're treating others the way you want to be treated, if you've had, let's say, a couple stressful days where you feel like the world is just out to get you for whatever reason, if you if you can at least still try to say please, say thank you to your server, even if you don't want to, just being positive around others and helping others, even if you're struggling, doing these things will only help you. They will only help you. And I've noticed that things like, let's say, for example, this was a week ago. I gave a couple of dollars to a homeless man who just wanted some water. Crazy, just some water. And I saw multiple multiple people pass him. And I, you know, and I got out and I gave him the money, got a water. And, you know, 
that day I had been having kind of a rough day as it was, but through doing that, I look back at it today as it being a motivator for me to continue to be better, and it only helps with your own karma. So treat others as you want to be treated, because if you don't, you'll affect others around you in, in ways you wouldn't even know. Okay, so let's jump right on into number three. Number three, I underlined it. Recognize your interests and hobbies, and from there, pursue them. So recognize your interests or hobbies, and from there, start pursuing, baby. Start pursuing. You know, if you aren't, if, if you, if you're struggling in life right now and trying to understand what, what is it that's going to, what can keep me going? What is my purpose? If you can look at things that you like, and this can be things like as easy as like, you know, you like to listen to specific types of music. You like to even to an extent, you like video games, you like sports, you like reading, you like writing. The things you love to do, attack them. And what I mean by that is, attack them. It's very generic, but you start pursuing them, meaning you start caring about things that you want to do with your life, and you put in the work and the time, the money will come. And here's the other part of this, the secret. If you're ever doing anything just for the money, you will always be in this stage or this step because you're refusing to recognize your own interest in hobbies. And what I mean by this, I'm not saying go quit a job and you don't have anything else going on in pursuing something, but if you are working even a nine to five job and you have aspirations of doing more with your life to the side, don't, I'm not saying quit your job, but just start doing something day by day with that hobby and you'll just, just gyms will blossom out of it. That, that's the beauty of it. And the more you continue to push the boundaries of what you like to do and just continue to move forward, even when you have setbacks with these, it will lead to a fulfilling life and you will find you will be doing something with your life that you love to do and you won't be stuck sometimes into that corporate lifestyle. So very important, very important. Number four, this for me is very important and applies health and nutrition. So I put right here, schedule a doctor's appointment, go see your physician or um, look at physicians online that you might be interested in. And the most important, get your labs drawn, lab test, check your hormones, hormones, check your blood counts, check your electrolytes. I could go on and on and how many things I could write on that. Reason being, if you're feeling bad emotionally or physically and you cannot figure out what it is, I know this sounds, this might sound once again, very, very just straight. It's very straightforward, but that's the point. Go to the doctor and go get your labs drawn because you could have a hormone imbalance. You could have hypothyroidism. You could have hyperthyroidism. You could have, and you wouldn't even know it, for out there, you could have hepatitis. You could um, you could have a lot of things, di different anemias. Uh, so that is very important in life. And for men as well, as, as men age, as we age, or our testosterone uh, levels will drop. And going to check your testosterone levels, especially when you're older, and in my case, I'll definitely be doing this, and I'm not afraid to say this. When I hit my uh, late 30s, early 40s, I want to maintain my testosterone levels at a normal range as I do, as you do as a, as a, an, as an adult, essentially, I will probably be doing things. I will be getting my lab work drawn to, you know, make sure I have enough, enough testosterone in my body, make sure I can still just, just perform at a high level in regards to running sports, uh, physical intimacy, what things like that. And it has been shown that even things like testosterone, when it plummets, that's when you start having more health problems that lead to more severe issues. And if you correct that, that that can fix most of your problems. Same with same with same in general with really anything. Hormone levels are crucial. I know I went on a tangent, but it's the truth with that. Um, and real quick, number five. Okay, so do not 
and I emphasize this, let the hard times beat you up because those downs you have will inspire you to move forward. So in other words, with this, all of us at some point will be at a low point and we'll say, is life worth it? Is it not? If you maintain that attitude uh, in, compl in that complacency of just being like, well, I'm not, nothing's ever going to improve. I'm going to be like this. Then guess what? You will be. But if you actively are focusing on your mental health and if you're going through a downtime, acknowledge what you're going through, acknowledge it and find and look into the resources you need. And if those don't work, there's so many other things you can try in general that the fact that you're actively seeking a change and trying to go back in the positive direction, that is what will keep you moving forward and ultimately lead to success. Random video, but this once again is, this applies to addiction problems or non-addiction or just really anyone in general going through a hard time. It's called, it's for me, life, the five steps, random video I did, just random and I wanted to throw that out there. I will be dropping a murder mystery um, video, hopefully within the next three to four days. That's the ideal goal to do it. But hey, everyone, thank you for supporting me. I greatly appreciate it. And I'm gonna continue to try to put videos out as much as I can, but also check out my 365 days of running. And I'm just gonna continue to put out more and more mental, just anything mental health related, because in, in these times, mental health needs to be talked about even more. I love you all so much. If you're ever going through a hard time, send me a message. And, you know, just in general, just put a comment down. Leave a comment if you feel if you if you feel like you want to. You don't have to, you don't obviously you you don't have to give details, but sometimes just writing it out is a step that can really help you move forward as well. So, once again, this is your daily dose of mental health with Adam. I love you all. I hope you got something out of this video. And in another three to four days, we'll be doing another video as well in regards to another murder mystery. I love you all. Deuces. Have a good night. I love you all.